surprised the sun was coming out. Yeah, it's nice. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're out in the middle sound today with my dad. It's getting cold, so we gotta be careful, but we're not gonna go too far from shore. Go for blackfish in this shallow area. <clears throat> 10 feet of water now, hoping to get into like maybe 20 feet max. So let's see if they're still shallow. Not too many people out, so it should be a good time. I found a good rock, it comes up six feet that's a good rock let me figure out where we're drifting and we'll we are drifting east that one has more life so we're gonna i'm gonna anchor in between these two rocks actually so these are the two rocks see right so i'm gonna anchor and try to get my boat right here so if i need to get my boat right here and i'm drifting here i'm gonna have to throw my anchor like right here so let's try to do that Well, I got to this rock. Whatever. All right, we are we are close to it, so I'm gonna give it a go. Whoa, look at that crap! <laughs> it's dead though. We're gonna cut this one up. Chum it. Chum one crab. Yeah, you can smell that suckers, right? Yeah, the jig. That's only one ounce. If you need heavier, I have. Try that, because the current the current's actually only going to slow down. And then at like 11.30, it'll switch. Yeah, give your crabs. 20 feet. But there's a rock. There's a rock that's like 10 feet high. It's like right under my boat. But it should be, it should be not under your boat where you are. You hit bottom and just keep, keep it there still. But like try to, don't leave bow in your line like that. So you just want it to like barely feel the bottom and then just wait for like the little taps. You can move it around a little bit if you want, you know. Yeah, that's like the rock right there. That's so crazy. I can see that. Yeah, I can see my jig touching the rock. So you don't be on the top, right? No. That's so crazy. So I definitely want to be on this side. All right, guys. So we did some underwater right away. As you can see, there's a blackfish there swimming away in the background. Um, so I chose this rock. It looked really good. It's an unmarked rock, and it just had some really nice relief, probably 10 feet. And there are some other boulders nearby. You're not going to see them here in the frame, but I do believe they're you know, on the other side of the camera. And yeah, I mean, any other time, I'm pretty sure this is a decent spot for blackfish, you know, but for whatever reason, they just weren't stacked over here. So, you know, we, we really didn't get bites. We probably got one bite here and there, 10 minutes, no bites. And that's about my limit. I really don't like not getting any bites for maybe 10, 15 minutes. When that happens, you know, I think most times that's what the bottom looks like. You know, there just aren't fish down there. You know, after reviewing this footage, you'll see we made a quick little move to try to find some fish and that didn't really work out so yeah we ended up going deeper hmm. oh i just had a tap i got a fish there's our first blackfish they're here while we're reviewing the underwater footage. Sorry, I need to get you wet. I don't know, I don't see much down there though on the underwater, so. I may need to like, try another spot. I don't like this spot. Oh yeah, that's a nibble. You're getting a nibble. That's good. I wanna see where we're at right now, cause I'm marking something nice, but I don't really feel the rock. Okay, so this spot wasn't much different. It's really not that much further from where we were. And yeah, like I mentioned, the rock is just not as high. You know, I said I couldn't really feel the rock and it's because it has like a much lower lying and almost like a slope to it. You see that there? So yeah, not, not a greatest rock, I don't think. And you know, we didn't catch any fish over here. So 
you can see the jig there you know the water is very clear the current's not moving too fast so yeah i think we made the right call to you know get out of this area i think we might have to go to the deeper spot yeah it's like nothing going on yeah but that was like a passing by guy what they're not like stacked they're not yeah well that yeah that too but also the tide is going to be slow when we go to the deeper spot so we don't even have to anchor the wind should only get less today so whatever you see now it's only going to get better if it's too much then we'll just come right back i feel like if we don't try this we may you know not do all that good Probably our last, time last licks. We still we still have like a five minute pedal, but I figure I want to get set up. So as soon as we reach it, we just go. All right, drop it down. I'll try to keep us over this piece. I'm gonna use a metal jig. Uh, we might. There we go. Oh, it's a porgy. Porgy. Jumbo porgy. Yeah. Keep them. Not what I was expecting, but. Get ready, the big piece is coming. Oh, come on. Oh. Wow, that's a fish. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a big one. Big sea bass. Got one, Fox? Tighten your drag a little bit. Tighten your drag a little bit. Man, my roller bearing sounds horrible. Ah, it's a foul hook porgy. Come on. What a fake out. Is it a porgy? No, it's a big sea bass. No, it's a big black fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course it's a keeper. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Wait, whoa, whoa, don't, don't, don't. Just easy, easy, reel him in, reel it in. Oh my, wow, that fish is big and it just woke up. No. Are you okay? Wait, 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 just keep, keep your balance, keep your balance. No, no, oh my goodness, hold on. Just, uh, wow. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead, baby. Wow, Dad, this is a big blackfish. Are you sure this is your biggest blackfish? Yeah, That is, look at that. Wow. That's a good size one, Bob. <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Wow. That is a nice one. The run that he took. I know. That's why I thought he Yeah. He wasn't fighting. fighting crazy. It's an 18 and a half. 18 and a half is a nice fish. Male too, so. That's awesome. Nice job, Dan. Good job. Whew. And that was a small little bite. I told you. Well, that was a strange one. Yeah. He was, he was saving his energy. He, he didn't, probably didn't even know he was like, what was happening. And then when he saw the boat, he absolutely freaked. That's a nice blackfish, man. Oh. Seeing that makes me want to use crabs now, too. Okay. 
No, you don't. It was hard too because we were so close to each other. I didn't want to flip over. Yeah. Yeah, you had a bad angle on it. <laughs> that was an epic run, though. <laughs> I. I know. That thing, I knew that was going to happen, though. Once I saw the size of that fish, I was like, no way. That thing didn't even run yet. So my dad just had that really nice one. I got to get back down. I'm switching the crab. I think, so you caught that. I think that's like a one and a half or a two ounce. The weight? Yeah, the weight. You actually expected more sea bass? Yeah, I expected more sea bass. I'm getting bites here. I'm getting bites immediately. Make sure your crab is changed. Oh, that's a sea bass. That's a sea bass. Huh? Yeah, that's close. Definitely measurable. Ah, oh, 16. So close. Only a half inch short. You have enough crabs? Yeah. Bite's picking up. We gotta get them right now. The next 30 minutes is all we got. As once that current picks up, I don't know if I'm, I'll be able to anchor out here. There's a fish. Okay. Feels a little better. This might be a keeper sea bass. Or a really big porgy. Oh no, it's blackfish. Oh, I don't think he fought enough. Oh man. Dang man, nice. Yo, we own him, we own him. 17 inch keeper. We'll keep him. 17. Both males too, which is always a very good sign. If you find a place where there's more males, it's usually usually a better spot. All right, watch that. That'll get you the big one. I think the three baits for the three fish are crab for blackfish is the best, squid for sea bass, and clam for porgy. But all three will hit all three. They really will. Oh, you got one. That's a good fish. That's a good one. That's a good blackfish. Yeah, you might fake you out, so be careful. Sea bass. It's good sea bass. Good sea bass. Good sea bass. Get him. Get him in. Get him in. <laughs> Like you said, it is very much so. 16 and a half. You might, no, he's not. Yeah, he's 15 and a half. Yeah, he's probably got 15 more minutes. I don't think they. Yeah, I think it's a sea bass. Whoa, what is that? Something huge. Yeah, no, dad. No, look, there's something huge chasing the sea bass. Yeah, something huge, a big fish. I don't, that could have been a shark. Yeah. I saw a very, very big fish. He grabbed the sea bass too. Look, the sea bass got cut. Oh, you're right. Whoa. Crazy. This poor guy. Will he survive? No. Don't think so. It's too small to keep though. Have you ever, 
happened before? Um, no. It has not. I really don't know what that fish was. It really just, it looked too big to be a bluefish. I feel like it may have been a really big bass because it wasn't like moving fast and attacking it. The bite definitely slowed. Oh, what's that? Just as I say that. Yeah. Still not big enough, right? Yeah. We're right over the structure right now. See that? Looks good. There you go, Pops. Little guy, though. Oh, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a porgy. I can see him bopping. Doing the porgy bop. Yeah, it's a fast head shake, exactly. Fast, repetitive. Yeah, very good. All right. That's a nice one, though. You want to keep it? What do you think? Up to you. It's all right. Here, try to throw him in the bucket. Just toss him in the bucket. Where's the bucket? Oh, okay. Can you can you make that toss? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's all right. No, it is my left hand. Yeah, no, I I didn't get a <laughs> I didn't get a good angle. Oh yeah, that's a trawler. That's like a commercial. No, we got, yeah, two blackfish and one porgy. Would be nice to get a sea bass, you know? I'm just curious. I'm just gonna throw this metal here. I wanna see if I can catch that bass or bluefish that tried to eat the, uh, whoa. Oh, dude, I had something. <laughs> My roller bearing just sounds terrible. Small sea bass. I think that hook is good. This is what I'm using. Oh, something decent. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. This could be a keeper sea bass. I think it is. It's just strange that they want the they want the metal jig versus the crab. Yeah, it's keeper sea bass. Yeah, it's keeper sea bass. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it just came up weird. I, he looked like he was hooked great. That's why I didn't even bother too much. What? Yeah, the metal. No, is it just jigging on the bottom? Yeah. There we go. Finally, that little grain of sand came out of the roller bearing. <laughs> oh, now it's back in. There's sea bass down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. They really want this. I think it's just the jig. They want something like... Oh. Alright, here. 
You want to try jigging then? While I set you up again? You know how to do it? No. You had to drop it to the bottom. It's not fully at the bottom yet. What do you do? Then just jig. I'll wait till it hits the bottom and then just pull up high. You have one. <laughs> nice, pops on the jig. I have a decent one here. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 16. Dang. 16. Oh, there he goes. That's a good one. Oh, 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 oh that's a good fish. Yeah, it's good. It's a more fun rod, isn't it? Like, yeah, no, it absorbs a lot more shock. Oh, it's a nice sea bass. I think that might be a keeper. No? Whoa, he just spit up. See that? He just spit up. Mantis shrimp, I think. Nice fish. He might be just short. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's like 15 and a half. 15 and a half. I think we'll go in shallower. I also just don't like the way the, the wind has shifted a bit. I thought it was going to blow south more, and it's not really blowing south. It's a nice fish. Oh, dude, this guy's still alive. <laughs> Yours. Still alive. Yeah, you see that rock that's exposed? Towards there, but we're going to stop way before that. Yeah, there's just definitely a swell with the uh, wind against tide, so. Yeah. I don't know. Here, come, come next to me so I can change your, while I get us cozied up. Yeah, you can use this uh, while I retie. It's very close. Hold on, I'm not there yet, but. Ooh, that looks good. There's fish right under us. All right, cast up a little bit. Go, go, go. There's fish. Look at that. There's fish right under the screen. 25. I don't know what they are. Yeah, this is, well, that's my rod that I use. Oh, there's so many fish, Dad. Get ready. So funny how it has a different feel as well. So often. Mm-hmm. No bites, huh? Yeah, got a little bite. Might be just small porgies. That's a lot of good fish, though. Oh, you dog. Okay. Missed him. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look at those fish. You want you want your rod back? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm good. That's a yeah, it's a very finesse. I would call it like a finesse rod. Oh, a little porgy. I don't think that's a porgy. No, I don't think so. Sea bass. Nice sea bass. No, that's a blackfish. Oh, yeah, it's, that's a blackfish. Nice pops, blackfish on that nice rod. Yeah, almost. Uh, he's not, he's not keeper though. But I'm gonna. He's definitely like a 14, 15 inch, probably 15. Good job, pops. Fun on that rod, right? I didn't measure.
Oh yeah, that's a sharp tab. That's a blackfish. There's definitely a more blackfish down there. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, <laughs> you can't budge him. I can't get him off. Oh, dang, man. Oh, yeah. That's a good little blackfish right there. Wow, fat female. Yeah, it's 15 and a half. That was fun, though. Man. I mean, this rod just like a stiffer. Yeah. It's more powerful. You can bring in more powerful fish easier. Like that rod, they'll they'll pull drag and everything. You want to switch or you're good? It is nice because it's light though, right? That's what I like about it. Let's try with the shell on. Oh yeah, and the handle. Oh, <laughs> how is it? Yeah, it's for. A, that's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> hold tight, hold tight, pops. <laughs> Get him. Come on, pops. There you go. Just play him nice and easy. That's it. When he takes drag, let him take drag. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. All right. Whoa, whoa. All right. All right. All right. Just hold, hold the rod, hold the rod, hold the rod. I know, hold on. Give you some room. Oh, that's a that's a keeper for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I knew he was bigger than the other one because that is a good one, pops. Wow. Yeah, 17 and a half is my guess too. 17. 17 and a little bit. 17 and a little bit. It's a keeper. And it's another male. Oh, good job, Pops. Good job. Our uh, little grayer on the bottom here, the females are more brown. They have this yellow sometimes, you see it? And then they have a white chin, white chin. But mostly it's the gray. This is a gray bottom and this will turn white. Females are brown and there's like striations on the vertical. Yeah, sometimes they have white spots. Oh man. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. These fish are so much fun. We're not exactly on the spot, but. Wow. It's crazy. We're just getting bites all the. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh man. I think it's a keeper. Yeah, that one took the jig like crazy. Yes, yeah, 16 and a half, almost 17. Might as well. Don't know when we're gonna get back out. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. Got one? Not big though. Oh. Sometimes they start fighting later on. Oh. 
Wow. Blackfish beat down right now. 16 and a half again. Let's keep them. Why not? Hey, you, you just caught your limit. Once you have your limit, then, then we'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It closed to short, and they're all keepers. No, like like one or two. Yeah. Yeah, we're over over a pile of some kind of fish. I think what's amazing to me is we're not honestly on anything super amazing in terms of the bottom no this is only 25 feet oh my <laughs> they are just swimming away with the jig immediately <laughs> let me see that may not be a keeper though no it's 14 and a half. And when I was marking fish, if that was just blackfish. Is it, is it a porgy? I can't see. Yeah, it's a decent size porgy. Okay. We can keep porgies. Oh, good blackfish. Oh, close, but not keeper. Oh, that's a jumbo. Yeah, keep that sucker. Here. There you go. Different. It wasn't as big as strong, but he was decent. This is so much fun. Alright, hold on. I gotta get back on the spot. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. This is just unreal. Oh, I'm scushing it back there. Just under 16. All right. Yeah, I have I have more too. No. I mean, oh, we didn't get the money. No, we didn't get it yet. All right, so we just caught uh, just under 16. Let her go. I'm just getting so many bites. It's crazy. And we're not even anchored. <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, he's that was the the softest pickup too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a keeper. Nice female. Wow. Seventeen. All right, that's our that's our limit. Small blackfish. Alright, so that is the double limit. The two others that we got in the deeper. I'm gonna be eating good. Very thankful for this. Super thankful.
All right, so I tried to do a little bit of underwater. We didn't have much time, we had to get in, but I was just so curious as to what was down there. And you can see there from the background, um, you know, there's a few blackfish. They're kind of swimming around too. And yeah, you're gonna see here that, well, I think what I was marking were all three, blackfish, porgy, and sea bass. But we really were only catching blackfish. I mean, there was a straight porg we were catching, but for some reason, the blackfishers were very, very aggressive out here. And yeah, you can even see that one kind of following the crab. You know, blackfish really don't do this very much. They, they really kind of hold to structure. But I think, you know, this is some interesting behavior. And I'm starting to think that there really is just, you know, some foraging areas. And when they're in the foraging mood, they'll come into these shallow areas uh, looking for food. Uh, they're just ready to feed. You know, they're not hesitant. You know, I was mentioning up top, there's just no beginning taps at these fish. They were swimming away with the crab. Is If I could find the fish, like if I could, you know, find and mark them and drop the crab down, it was immediate. Uh, and you even see that with my dad. He wasn't even hardly setting the hook. But I guess it's just tough. You can't get these fish in this feeding frenzy like they are all the time. And... You know, as I had mentioned, we weren't even that far away from the original spot that we started. So, always interesting to learn new things. All right, so that's it, headed in. It's an absolutely incredible finish. I really didn't think that, you know, these boulders would be loaded with blackfish like that. Because it's just such a similar area that we tried in the first part of the day. But there were so many blackfish down there. I mean, we probably only fished that spot for like 30 minutes and then got four keeper fish. And we could have kept getting gotten them. But there was a lot. It was just keeper after keeper. And that bite was hot. Those fish were picking up the jig immediately. Immediately. So, I mean, it was just a silly hot bite. Never, I've really actually never experienced it like that before. Um, and we didn't even anchor. We didn't even anchor at that spot. Really thankful to get out. It's probably the last time I can get out with my dad. But I'll definitely try to keep getting out into November. Going away for a little bit, but I'll be back late November. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.